you've suffered from depression as yeah. an adult. And have you tracked it down? What do you think? Maybe there's a reason. No, Is I it chemical? It to, I tracked it to ADHD. That was the, can I tell you, man, the most frustrating thing. Look, you know me. I love puzzles. Mm -hmm. There's few things I love more than solving a puzzle, like a something that's wrong, you know, yep. figuring out. And if she happens to be gorgeous, even better. Go ahead. <laughs> I love solving a puzzle. Uh huh. It's been so frustrating to me realizing how little time we've put into, we just put into thinking about the possibility that there is something else that's happening to people as opposed to these broad things. Yeah. Shame, you suffer from shame. Yeah. You know, like an example, I was, I was talking to um, Gerard Carmichael, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you've seen Gerard's reality show, mm -hmm. but in it, he's just having sex everywhere, all the time, everything. Wild. Right? Like wild, sucking toes, doing sucking it all. Sucking toes. Yeah, exactly. And so Gerard and I are speaking, and I say to Gerard, I go, hey man, I see you do a lot of therapy trying to dig, you know, and trying to get to the bottom of this. And a lot of it is about shame. They're like, you have shame. That's why you go on dating apps. You have shame. That's why you want to have sex with people. You have shame. That's why you cannot control yourself. You have shame. Mm -hmm. And I just said to him, I was like, hey, just quick question. Has anyone te tested you for ADHD? And he's like, no. And I'm like, it's interesting that you've spent this much time in therapy. And the first thing everyone has gone to is shame. But something nobody has considered, if you just look at some of these triggers, some of these things that you talk about, a lot of them can be attributed to something we understand. And so in the same way, people have started understanding autism, and Asperger's, and you know, all, all these, I feel like ADHD was one of the weirdest ones, and it's still one of the stranger ones, where people think, and so did I when I was young, that ADHD is, ah, yeah. ah, this kid can't pay attention, ah, when in fact what it means is, you are unable to control what you pay attention to. Mm. So generally when you have ADHD, you are paying more attention than most people, but to the wrong thing. Right, to Super Mario Brothers. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it can be like a, I can be in a in a classroom, let's say I'm in school, I'm in a classroom and there's like a little bird on, tapping at the window and the teacher's speaking. I'm My brain is like, that bird is, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Most people are able to go, the bird is not consequential to what's happening right now. Turn it off. Yeah. Focus on the teacher. I my brain sometimes goes, that bird, man. That bird. That bird is ridiculous. And I think many comedians have ADHD. I think many comedians become comedians and are good comedians because they have ADHD because it's such a perfect environment for ADHD and that you it have- Again, it gets rewarded. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's also, it's like comedy is very distracting. There's a lot of people in an audience. It's a tightrope. You, you can never turn off. You can never get lazy. You can never become complacent. Forces focus. It really does. It yeah. really does. But it forces focus to the state of flow and it keeps you engaged and it pushes you. And that's a perfect environment for a, for a comedian. And it's a perfect environment rather for, for somebody with ADHD. And so- in that, I'm talking to Gerard and I go like, I, I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but it's just weird that no one's considered this yeah. when you have the hallmarks. The guy stopped to get a hot dog and then missed his friend's wedding. <laughs> Sounds a lot to me like ADHD, which a lot of people can misinterpret as just being an asshole, by the way, but it is executive dysfunction. And so when I, when I think of these things and when I've learned what they mean for myself, you know, when I think of life and you, you talk about, I go, oh man, it, it's, 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 you think it's depression, but then you realize that depression is oftentimes a symptom of something else, you know? And I, I hope we get to the point where we start understanding depression a little bit more. Cause if we just keep saying to people, you're depressed, essentially what we're saying is you're long-term sad. So we need to make you happy. Like, but it's like, but what is making you depressed? I find is more interesting and actually gets to the core and you get to that and you find depression. I, you and I used to talk about it all the time. I was like, man, I suffer from depression. People were like, do you? I was like, I think I do. I feel it all the time. I... And then when you understand ADHD, you're like, oh no. I so get did it, you man. start, you did do depression treatments though, right? You did ketamine, no, you did. No, 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 no. That, that was no. for, no, that was, that was for like trauma and for life. Oh, great. Oh, that was different. Okay. So this was, that was for like a PTSD strain. Yeah. That's, that's for me. That was for me trying to work past the things that I couldn't on a physical level. Yeah. There are things that I'm sure listeners may 
you know, relate to, which is, and I've yelled this at therapists, it's in my body. Yeah. I can't talk yeah. this out. No, no. And, and so that, that book that became popular really got into the body keeps the score. It really does. Go and hang out with people who've been bitten by a dog or have had bad dog experiences. See what happens when a dog barks around them. They jump before they can acknowledge that a dog is even there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing with, I don't care where a black person is, put a police siren on. Mm -hmm. There's a thing, there's just like a, yeah, just a. It's like a deer hearing yeah, a lion. Yeah, it's just like lion. a. Lion. Like, huh? Eh, what is it? Yeah. Eh, it's, like yeah. A, it's like a twitch moment, you know, and you, 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 you know, you're fine. I'm sitting in a restaurant with Neil Brennan. I have done nothing wrong. I have nothing. There's nothing that is going Top wrong. Top of my the life. world. Best. You're at a restaurant with me. What could possibly? You've done something, right? <laughs> and then I hear a police siren going past. There's just a. Yeah. It's my body. It's not my brain. And I think a lot of people have that and they don't realize that they have that. And then it affects how they feel in certain situations, which then affects how you are in certain situations. Yeah. You know, so sometimes your body feels things or remembers things from how you were treated as a child when you asked for something mm -hmm. and your parents rejected you. And then what happens now? When you ask in real life, you, you, you want to say something to your partner, hey, can we, can we, and they go, can we watch? And immediately your body panics. They haven't even done anything. Yeah. And you're, that feeling, you try and avoid it as much as you can. So maybe you don't ask for it. Actually, uh, no, no big deal. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter, actually. Yeah. It doesn't, let's keep it moving. But now the feeling is there and your action is there and then you're acting against yourself. And that's, it's, it's just such a weird cycle to, to go on. You did a few ketamine things, right? Yeah, yeah. no. So I, I went for therapy. I've been in therapy for years, yeah. right? I think you and I spoke about that as well. Um, yeah, but I've, I've been in therapy for years. And it was actually one of my therapists who said to me, hey, have you ever thought of trying something that would go beyond the talk therapy? I was like, what do you mean? And she said, well, there's this, there's this therapy that some really good therapists are doing, ketamine therapy. And I was like, mm, I've heard of ketamine. I don't do drugs, lady. I know where this goes. Look, lady. I was like, I know where this yeah. goes. Yeah. You know, next thing I'm like- Hanging like, out with the wrong crowd. I'm in like a cult in Hollywood. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Buying hot dogs with Gerard Carmichael. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I was like, I know where this goes. Um, but then when I when 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 I- when I understood it better, when I when I did a lot of reading, because I was I, I wasn't comfortable with it, um, I understood that sometimes you need something that breaks the connection between your brain and your body, mm -hmm. so that your brain gets a break from your body in processing the information, um, and so and, your and so your mind lets you go. And that's with a good therapist. I wouldn't tell anybody to do it without yeah. a therapist because I don't think you'd get the same results. You need, yeah, I, you need yeah. proper guidance. Mm -hmm. Um, Hopefully the cost think, will come down because it's still pretty costly. Is it? Yeah. Getting, doing ketamine with a therapist. It's just, it's, yeah, it's just, it's like a new thing. So it's, oh, it's there still like that prohibitively high in and, that way. Yeah. I thought they'd gotten it down in some places like Colorado and New York and everything. Yeah. It's potentially. Yeah. My, my question is, so it was a, it was in concert, the resolving some PTSD yeah. and getting a ADHD uh, was it medication or was it just an no, no, no. acknowledgement Can I tell that you, you had it? The diagnosis is more important than most medications, I would mm. argue. And I think this is the same for most things in life. Just knowing is, I would say, 80% as effective as treating. Yeah. Because when you know, you now understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like It's you're not crazy. There's, yeah, a, there's yeah. a big amount of relief to, no, you weren't imagining things. You're not yeah. crazy. And the people around you weren't imagining things. So I've now learned that I, I'll have to tell people in my life, you know, and I wish I knew this before in previous relationships. I will tell people now, you know, my, my siblings know, my family knows, my friends know. So they know that in a moment you may feel me switch in a way that doesn't seem, it, it, sometimes people tell me it seems like I've tuned out, mm -hmm. but I haven't to me. I'm fully present to me, but literally what's happened is my attention has shifted in a way that people can feel. So in my head, you may have said something that has just taken me to go like, huh, like what is uh, yesterday what happened? I was, I was chatting to friends and then one of them said, yeah, the shower head is covered in um, 
It's covered. It's like got, got like a green scaly stuff. I got to fix that. And the conversation carried on. And then my brain went, wait, is the green, if you get green, does that mean you have hard water or soft water? Does LA have hard water or does it have soft water? I think it has hard water. So it's got additional minerals in it. But I don't think the green, because green, isn't green copper? That's, that's like a, huh, that's a chemical process that happens when the copper's in the pipe. Yeah. So what you're probably seeing is a manifestation of the copper in the pipes. Does vinegar help? I think I've read something about vinegar. I'm gone. Yep. yep. Now, if you know me as Trevor, you just be like, hey, some friends do that. They just be like, yeah, come back. People who don't know me sometimes will be like, you seem disinterested. Mm -hmm. Am like, I boring you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. People, will, people will say that. People will very quickly think that I am just, you know, and it's, it, again, it's one of those things. If you don't take it personally, everything in the world opens up to you. It's like, huh. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.